do you pick the right university and where do you find relevant information about this? So I'm going to start this one off and I'm going to ask Kohinoor to go next with me because um, I think we're going to focus on the international perspective. Um, and then I'll ask Pascal and Rashmi to cover this one from an India point of view. Um, so the first thing I'd like to say is when, when you try to look for universities abroad, and this happened to me as well, is your tendency is to look for rankings and use that as a guideline to choose your university. Um, and I realized pretty soon that this was not a very appropriate way of doing it because there is no parameter and you don't know what criteria are being used to, to rate these universities. Also, there are so many factors that come into play in terms of what is a good university for you. So I'd say the way to go about it is to first pick which field within psychology you would like to be in, uh, whether it's child or clinical or counseling or academia, and then look at uh, which courses you want to do within that, whether it's a clinical application course or whether it's a more theoretical course or a research heavy course. Uh, try to figure out, uh, have, have a basic idea about this. Once you do that, it's, it, the better way to do it is then look for which universities are offering these courses. Uh, and now if you're looking at it from a clinical point of view, then another way to do it is to look at the British Psychological Society or the American Psychological Association of looking at Australia, then the Australian Psychological Society. Look at these bodies that accredited course, that accredit courses, um, which then tells you that it is a, a recognized course. And if you're looking at it from a research point of view, then perhaps looking at the uh, uh, rating by QS or by times uh, higher education might be helpful because their focus is more on research rather than training. But again, at the end of the day, also ask yourself which city you'd like to be in, what kind of an environment do you want? How long do you see yourself staying there? Do you want to come back or not? How easy is integration uh, into that country or coming back? Um, but yeah, I'd say these are some of the top guidelines that you should keep in mind when you're picking a university. Um, I think what one thing that I'd like to just add is uh, what you can do is get in touch with alumni, get in touch with people who've done the courses uh, that you are interested in, talk to the students because no one can give you uh, feedback as well as a student who's done that course. And they can give you realistic expectations or like what you can expect from that course. Because you might go in thinking this is a clinical heavy course or an application based course and you might come across that the fact that it's actually very research heavy and you might not like it as much or you might think okay this is a waste of my time but rather than that happening when you're actually doing the course talk with people talk with uh, the professors there talk with lecturers talk with module organizers and students who've done that course previously i think everything else you've pretty much covered okay cool but yeah i think that's an important point as well about speaking to people who are actually going through the course rather than only reading what the university wants you to know right yeah Okay, and about um, doing it in India, Bhaskar, what was your experience uh, and what are insights that you would like to share? No, I think with India, uh, the one thing is that we don't have a range of courses. So most places in India offer either clinical counseling or uh, industrial or organizational behavior. Uh, there is one university that offers forensic psychology, I think, uh, and cognitive neuroscience is even lesser. I think there are three or four of them. Uh, so the range of options for you are limited in that sense. Uh, additionally, because most of the master's course in India is for two years, uh, the first year goes in just the general uh, detailed understanding of psychology. And then in the second year, you specialize in something. Uh, so you get that space to decide, which is a good thing and a bad thing, uh, depending on how careful or how knowledgeable you are about what you want to do. Uh, but the rule of thumb for India is that uh, what is what are the better universities have better courses uh, and that's that's probably the only way to go about it uh, okay. the other thing is that psychology doesn't have a lot of funding so a lot of universities don't have a lot of equipment that you can use uh, that again becomes quite problematic so if you go to a, a smaller university or a smaller college uh, then you face that sort of an issue as well uh, so the general rule of thumb is to go, is to what is popular as a university in India is generally uh, above average place to go to in terms of uh, doing a master's course or even an undergraduate course. Uh, the other thing that you can look for is how updated the syllabus is of the course. Uh, if the syllabus is updated uh, and it's and because a lot of government universities have five years 
uh, five year updation so they update the syllabus every five years uh, but sometimes that becomes too too uh, you know far off from what's happening in the world and they don't and the students aren't able to catch up so uh, depends on the kind of institution that you're looking at some autonomous universities are probably better in that sense because they update regularly uh, so there are these few criteria that you need to take into account also the kind of faculty that is there uh, that plays a major role uh, because India, you, it's primarily more teaching sort of uh, courses. So that becomes again important. Um, so yeah, these are a few things that maybe the course, the faculty who's teaching the course and uh, the university quality overall. I think these are important criteria to keep in mind. Okay. Rashmi, could you uh, share your view? Uh, I think Bhaskar has covered most of the thing, uh, but I would like to add here one thing just uh, that Again, you know, it depends upon in which area would you like to pursue. Like, for example, if you want to go in the area of clinical psychology or you want to pursue your career in industry or organizational behavior. So you have to look for, you know, syllabus in that particular university. And you just, you need to see what portion they have covered. Uh, whether this particular university is more uh, famous for uh, this uh, clinical psychology or whether it's for organizational behavior, forensic psychology and so on. I just wanted to ask you like where, um, and how, how would you know, like is there a list that you look at or where do you find which university to go to, which universities are there, which university is good at research versus clinical in India, how, how do you go about that? So, for example, uh, if I take an example from where I did my master's, uh, I did my master's from uh, Center for Behavior and Cognitive Sciences, University of uh, Allahabad. So, if you go to the website, it's clearly written that, you know, in this master's program, uh, first semester, second semester, third semester, what they have included. And there's another module which is called a master thesis. And if you're involved in a research project, so in that way, you will learn a lot of things. Like for example, once you have the data, you have to analyze it. Then you will learn, you know, those st statistical method. So a lot, so what happened, uh, we learn a lot of things, you know, theoretical. But once, if we are not going to apply those, you yeah. know, then we forget a lot of things and we are not able to understand a lot of things. But yeah. if you, once you have the data and you know how to do analysis of variance, how to do t-test, correlation and all that. So in that way, you will learn a lot. So definitely I would suggest you to look for, you know, those universities where they have incorporated those components also. So your so, recommendation is, um, sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. Um, the recommendation is to look at the website of the university and get an understanding of the, the, the focus of the program and, and then decide whether that meets your uh, yes exactly okay okay great thank you